Yo, what's up guys, you're back with Technic and today I have another Antutu benchmark run for you, but this time it's between the Redmi K30 Pro Zoom Edition, Realme X50 Pro, Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro, Oppo Find X2 Pro and Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra or with Snapdragon 865 processing chips. This is the K30 Pro Zoom Edition. I will show you the hardware specs in a sec. There at the top it says Zoom Edition. Feel free to hit pause on the configurations of all phones if you wanna see more info. We have the latest update there and we're gonna be using our game launcher to go into Antutu version 8.3. Realme X50 Pro comes paired with 8 gigs of RAM, the K30 before it, also 8 gigs of RAM, both with Snapdragon 865 processing chips, and we have updated to the latest software as well. We're gonna enable 90 hertz refresh rate panel over here. We are lacking this on the K30 Pro, but we have it on the Realme. We've also enabled high performance mode, and we're gonna be using game space to go into Antutu version 8.3 once again. We have the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro rocking 8 gigs of RAM, the version that I have anyway, with a Snapdragon 865 processing chip, as you can hit pause here on the spec sheet to see more information. We have also updated the software to the latest MIUI 11. We've enabled our 90 hertz refresh rate panel and we are going to be using the same game launcher that we saw in the K30 to run Antutu. The Oppo Find X2 Pro, the minimum spec you get is 12 gigs of RAM with its Snapdragon 865 processing chip and we do have the spec sheet there. Feel free to hit pause. We've upgraded to the latest color OS and we have a 120 hertz panel over here so we're going to keep it to that. We also have Quad HD and Full HD but to keep things even with all the phones I'm going to leave it at Full HD plus. Enable high performance mode on this Oppo very similar to the Realme since they use this very similar OS and run the game through the same launcher that we did on the Realme as well. The S20 Ultra over here has 12 gigs of RAM, the version that I have, and I also have the Korean version with a Snapdragon 865 processing chip. Once again, feel free to hit pause there if you'd like to see more info. My software is up to date on the phone and I have enabled 120 hertz response rates and we have also enabled Full HD+, Plus, not WQHD+, Plus because that is limited to 60 hertz. We've also enabled high performance mode and used Game Booster to focus on performance. We're gonna use Game Launcher to launch and to version 8.3. Now these are all the degrees Celsius, the hottest being the Xiaomi and the coolest being the Samsung here in the battery department. With the CPU, the hottest being the Redmi and the coolest being the Samsung once again. I did pop them all in the freezer for about 10 minutes. We'll get to that in a minute. After going into the freezer, the Redmi dropped the least and the Xiaomi dropped the most in degrees Celsius. In CPU, the Redmi once again dropped the least and the Xiaomi dropped the most there. I'm really excited to see how all these phones perform under cool temperatures. Guys, this is Technic and without further ado, let's go. So I popped them in the freezer over here, as you guys can see, with a 10 minute countdown timer on my OnePlus 7T. I'm not gonna show you guys the footage. It was in there, as you saw, the temperatures actually did decrease. We've popped them back on the table over here, and as you can see, we have the temperatures at the start of the test. We'll be comparing the battery percentages, as well as the degrees in Celsius in the battery and the CPU from the start to the end. So the start being right after the freezer, I literally ran back to my studio, popped them all on the desk to run the test, show you guys these temperatures, and then and get straight into the test and we'll compare it at the end of the test. Making sure high performance modes are on the Realme, Oppo and the Samsung, this is lacking on the Xiaomi and Redmi. They do not have a high performance option over there, just use their game launcher. So we have 100% real time at the bottom over there. I do speed things up, I don't want to keep you guys here all day. There we go, sped up 2400 times. 100% over here, real time again, just to show you guys how smooth all these devices are, all rocking Qualcomm's latest seven nanometer plus technology chipset, the Snapdragon 865 processing chip. This chipset will be up upgraded throughout the year, hopefully for the next two years with new graphics drivers, the first for a smartphone ever to be able to get upgradable graphics drivers. This is something you only really see on PCs and laptops with Nvidia and AMD graphics cards. Back to 100% real time, this is my favorite part of the test, the Terracotta Soldiers. It is the most graphically demanding part of the test and you can see it, all of them are a little bit jittery. You can see that the X50 Pro, the Realme X50 Pro is actually going slightly faster than the rest, then the Mi 10 Pro, then the Find X2 Pro, faster than the Samsung and the Redmi over there there, though that has nothing to do with the result, they're just going slightly faster. And I did tap on the Samsung just a second or two later than the other four devices since I don't have more than two hands. So this 100% real time, we're gonna speed up right after we get to this big terracotta soldier over here to see how things go when we turn him into color and make him a motion picture. And I must say that butterfly does a superb job in turning him into real life. <laughs> there we go. So another Pinocchio thing happening over here. It looks absolutely incredible on all of these devices I must say that I really love the screen on the K30 Pro though the 90 Hertz refresh rate is not on it we are dropped to 60 as opposed to its parent company Xiaomi with its 90 Hertz on the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro but the K30 Pro is literally half the price of that I have arranged them in sequence here according to the Hertz panel as well as the price we have 60 Hertz on the left 120 Hertz all the way on the right I'm gonna speed up the test and get to those temperature results we have the Redmi K30 Pro zoom edition increasing the 
least when it comes to degrees in Celsius and the Oppo Find X2 Pro increasing the most when it comes to degrees Celsius though the hottest phone out of the bunch is the Mi 10 Pro and the coolest is the Samsung. The one that lost the most amount of battery is the Oppo with minus 6% but it does have the smallest battery and the one with the biggest battery the Samsung lost the least amount of percentage when it comes to battery life. We added on 11 degrees Celsius for the Redmi making it the coolest adding on but it's actually the hottest phone here in degrees Celsius and the Oppo went up the most amount of degrees adding 14 degrees but the Samsung was the coolest with 26 degrees overall but didn't add the least or the most over there as opposed to the rest of the devices that you see before your eyes. Moving on to the actual results. In first place, we have the Oppo Find X2 Pro with 594,667 points. Second place, the Redmi K30 Pro. I'm really impressed with this, 593,686. In third place, we have the Realme X50 Pro with 593,072. And in fourth place, the Xiaomi with 591,118. And in last place, the Samsung over there. The best CPU gets awarded to the Redmi K30 Pro Zoom Edition with the most amount of points there. Second best CPU over there is the Xiaomi. And the worst is of course the Samsung. Really sucks, but that's the truth. GPU department over here, we have the Redmi K30 grabbing its second award here with best GPU, second best GPU, surprisingly going to the Realme X50 and going to the memory department, they're all running LPDDR5 RAM over here. The best was awarded to the Oppo, second best to the Redmi, worst going to the Samsung. Same can be said with user experience, very similar here. Oppo, best user experience, Samsung, worst user experience, and second best user experience, the Realme X50 Pro. I'm really impressed with that I must say. So awards over here as you guys can see at the bottom the Redmi had the best CPU and GPU and the Oppo had the best memory and user experience. This is Technic and I'll see you in the next one.